Hey guys, what's going on? This is Loose Cannon Rabu here. Um, today I'm going to be playing a little Black Ops 2 for you. And I uh, kind of just wanted to talk here and chat with you guys. And uh, kind of maybe we can wrap a little bit about this new Xbox reveal on May 21st, 2013. You know, in case you guys are watching this, you know, 2014. Or maybe you're watching this from the past in 2012. Ooh. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, guys. So basically, I want to kind of give you my thoughts on this whole Xbox reveal. First of all, the name. Um, a lot of people are saying Xbox 720. Um, I think that's just kind of because, you know, you think, oh, double the Xbox 360. Double the 360, that'd be 720. Um, but I, I don't think that's what it's going to be called because the 360 was uh, named after the, I think it was the graphics chip in the, th in the, the 360. Um, so, like the Direct X, um, Xbox, you know, and then I think the processor 360, the graphics Anyhow, that's the reason why it was, you know, named that one. Anyhow, I think what they're going to go with is Xbox um, Infinite or Infinity. Uh, now, the reason why I think, uh, I think this is probably because it, it's going to be based off of Windows 8. That's what the, the kernel is going to be based off of, whereas the 360 was based off of XP, if I believe right. Um, and then if you flip the 8 up, you know, turn it like on its side, it's a little infinity symbol. So I think that's the reason why it's going to be called either Xbox Infinite or Infinity. I'm probably going to go with um, Infinity. I think, I think that sounds kind of cool, actually. Um, it just, you know kind of rolls off the tongue, Xbox Infinity. Like, hey man, you guys wanna go play some Infinity? You know, oh man, let's play that new uh, Ghost, man, on Infinity. I just got this new, I uh, got my new uh, Xbox Infinity, man. You can go play this. So I, I think that sounds cool. Um, also, I think this reveal is not really going to show much in the way of games. I think what they're gonna probably do, they're gonna show the hardware, they're gonna show probably the console, uh, they're going to show the controller, and I don't really think we're going to get to see any hardcore game announcements uh, this time around. I think they're going to save that for E3. I think what we're going to do is probably maybe get maybe a sizzle reel of different games, you know, maybe like you know, Ghosts. Um, I think they're going to talk about that a little bit, and then maybe I think we'll see like a little sizzle reel of that, you know, like a little preview. And I think they're going to save the hardcore gameplay for E3. Um, I think we're going to maybe uh, see, uh, they're going to talk about what it's going to do. Whether it's going to be um, like a, just a purely a game console, if it's going to be a home entertainment console, uh, what they're going to do with it. I think, my honest opinion, I think what they're going to do is they're going to probably keep it like how the 360 is, how it's a game console, it's a media console, you watch Netflix on it, you know, you got your different apps like CW, you got um, Fox, uh, UFC, I mean, you know, you got all these different apps on there. And I think that's what they're going to keep doing. Uh, I think what we're going to start to see is we're going to start to see a console where it does more than just games or more than just apps like how 360 is. I think they're going to take that a little farther. I think what they're going to end up doing is they're going to probably, I don't think they're going to have like straight up DVR functionality like you would think a DVR is like through your um, cable company or through like um, DirecTV or something like that. Um, I think what we're going to have is um, it's going to be pretty much like if you would be like watching say Netflix on your iPad or whatever. Um, I think they're gonna, you know, put a lot of emphasis on being able to watch your stuff anywhere, anytime with your Xbox. Um, and then, you know, you're gonna, you know, have your uh, Xbox Smart Glass integration. And I think eventually you're gonna be able to take your apps and everything and it's gonna be integrated with the Xbox Smart Glass and you're gonna be able to take that with you with your iPad. Um, you know, stuff like that. So I think that's what we're gonna see for like, um, Home media and stuff like that. Now I could be wrong because I don't know, but I think that that's where we're gonna see. I don't think it's gonna be this huge evolutionary step like 
Oh my god, it's gonna be a whole DVR functionality and plug into the back of your TV and your cable box and all this. I don't think that's what's gonna happen. Uh, just because of the fact that, I mean, for them to do that, and plus game content and saves and everything else, you know, I mean, that's gonna take like a lot. So, I think what they're gonna end up doing is they're gonna have, um, like, you'll be able to maybe re uh, save your videos on your console and stuff like that. Cause, uh, because I mean, to do full DVR functionality, I mean, do you realize how many like, terabytes of information you'd have to have on your hard drive for that? I mean, I just, I don't think it's gonna be a viable option to do it like that. So that's why I said, I think they're gonna go more the app route and everything like that. Um, as for this rumor of always on, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, there's been rumors going back and forth now since they, you know, even before they announced the announcement of the new Xbox, that we're going to have always online functionality in the new Xbox. So always going to have to be connected to online service to work. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, the reason why I don't think it's going to happen is mostly because that there's parts of this country in the US that doesn't even have internet yet. I mean not not broadband internet to fully take advantage of the always online. Um, people over like you know um, like North Dakota, um, Oklahoma, whatever, you know, they're still running like 56k modem for a lot of stuff. So that's the reason why I don't think we're gonna see an always online console. Um, I think that maybe what they're mean by always online is once again going back to the whole uh, maybe like a play on words kind of like oh you know you're always online with your Xbox like you're from your your media to your video games to your music to um, streaming live sport events and stuff like that you're always online always connected always talking to your friends on your you know on your friends list always just online for that basically the whole online encompassing all together that's what I think it's going to be um, I, I do think you're going to obviously be able to play your games offline. I don't see them making it a requirement to play your games online only. Um, I think they'd be shooting themselves in the foot at that point if they did do that. Um, but I am very excited about this next Xbox, guys. Um, the Blu-ray player, obviously it's going to have that. Um, I, unless they go purport pri um, their own like little media. I can't even think purport proprietary. proprietary. I can spit that word out. Proprietary media, unless they go like that with like HD DVD or whatever, but I can't even see them doing that. Um, Blu ray is the, pre the present and the future, so I think that's what we're going to see. Um, and to rival the PS3, the PS4, um, I do think that we're going to see um, a different controller, but it's not going to be totally different. I think basically we're going to see maybe sort of the same ergonomic design with the triggers, um, the um, R1 and L1, I think are going to be the same. Uh, stick layout, I think is going to be the same. Uh, button layout, I think is going to be the same. I think what they're going to really change is the D-pad. Because that D-pad on Xbox 360 is horrible for fighting games. And I think if they want to reach the total encompassing market, they're going to want to change up the D-pad. Make it more like the uh, PS3's D-pad, I think is probably what they're going to end up going with. So, um, I think there's that. Um, uh, obviously, all, all, all your games are going to be on the Blu-ray, so the Blu-ray drive and stuff like that. So, I'm just I'm really excited to see what this is going to be. Um, is it going to come in different colors, black and white? Uh, how much hard drive space? Um, I honestly I think we're going to see I think them launching with at least um, 500 gigabyte, and then maybe um, a terabyte um, option later on down the line, maybe as uh, more media starts becoming available for downloading and stuff like that. Uh, but I think we're going to start off with at least 500 gigs and then kind of go from there. Um, so that's just kind of my thoughts, guys. Uh, what are your gonna thoughts here on the new Xbox? Uh, what's going to be called? What color variants do you think they're going to release? Um, so just like, let me know, guys. And um, I've been having fun playing this game for you, talking with you. So. Hopefully I can do more of these and I will catch you guys in the next video. So keep it locked here to the Loose Cannon Rob Boo Station. Alright guys, peace.